This time of year here in Ohio, it can be kind of cold. And so we need to get ready for even colder weather coming up soon. So a question's come in to the radio program, and I've asked my favorite heating expert, Nathan Schaefer, to join me and answer a question for me. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Jim. Happy to be here. Hey, it is great to have you here. A question's come in. Now, this is kind of a basic question, and you may okay. not think so because you probably hear this all the time. The question is, is, what should I do if my furnace stops working? And I'm assuming that they've set the thermostat to a certain temperature, and it's just not cranking up. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's that's that time of year, right? So it's, it's a common time of year for that to be happening. And we're going to go into the, to the, uh, dead of winter. And so even more likely to happen to get that cold night, but it seems like a simple question. Uh, it is a very great question. So, uh, number one, contact shape for heating and cooling. Uh, there's many ways you can do that. Um, you could simply give us a call. We have, uh, our team is on call 24 seven. So you always get a live person, uh, right here at our, at our team here at our facility. Um, you can book an appointment on our website. And so they could go there and, and simply book an appointment. Um, they can text us. They can email us. Uh, lots of different ways that they can contact us. But number one, if that furnace is not working, uh, we could try a couple things first to make sure that, uh, hey, this system does have power. You know, something that can get tripped a breaker or something like that. Uh, make sure the batteries and the thermostat are good. But if those few couple main minor things check out great. You know, I've replaced my air filter. Hey, step uh, step one or two, I guess, depending on uh, your level of technical there, is uh, give our team a call and we'll get you taken care of. Yeah, don't mess around with this stuff yourself. We talk about yeah. this. And I'll tell you, one of the most dangerous things about heating a home are the fumes. It's carbon monoxide, okay? We don't have that mm -hmm. problem with air conditioning. A little less dangerous. But honestly, and I don't mean to scare people, but that's the biggest thing you have to worry about. And you want to have an expert in your home who can make sure it's vented properly. Absolutely. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, the type of system that you have. There's multiple different types of systems and combinations of systems that hook together. And so in reality, they're all, you know, very dangerous. And so you've got uh, exhaust, like you mentioned, you get carbon monoxide and things. You've got electric, you've got uh, gas, you've got water. Uh, you know, you got a combination of one or, or multiples of these all combined together in that heating system in the home. And uh, it can be a catastrophe waiting to happen if uh, if things aren't done correctly. And so something that uh, maybe oftentimes a lot of people don't think about, but we want to take very, very seriously, make sure we got a trained, licensed professional in there taking care of matters for you. Yeah, I think when people hear about heating and air conditioning, they think, well, I can go to the big box store and I can buy a portable heater. I can buy a window air conditioner. So it's not that dangerous. I want you to think of these systems as your in your home as mechanicals. And in in the industry, that's what is often referred to. Okay. The mechanical systems of the home, like a big power plant would have mechanical systems. Your house is is a plant itself and you need to treat it as such. Absolutely, hundred percent. It's definitely not something to uh, be taken lightly uh, at all. Yeah, Nathan, as always, thank you so much for joining me. All of Nathan Schaefer's information is located in the show notes of this podcast. Reach out to them for any of your heating and air conditioning needs. Thanks again, buddy. Hey, right. thank you, man. Appreciate it.